Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Quick Hits. We are back uh, with everyone's favorite topic. Uh, love him or hate him, Canelo Alvarez is back in the headlines. We're going to get into it. Eddie Hearn and Eddie Reynoso may have some disagreements. Um, but let's before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Quick Hits on all forms. Uh, follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's very near and dear to our heart. So let's get into today's show. All right, so it's going to be like Canelo. Uh, Canelo Bavall next is on the table, according to Chepo Reynoso. Um, Eddie Hearn wants something in, in, in the interim. John Ryder. John Ryder. Beat Zach Parker, who quit for no reason in a fight I thought he was clearly winning in uh, because of a hand injury. He didn't want to press on. He didn't want to fight. Um, whatever. I'm not going to get into it. The biggest moment of your professional career, Zach Parker, and you quit. It is what it is. Um, but um, before we get into that, uh, I'm not going to get into that. Um, that's the fight Eddie Hearn wants. Eddie Hearn wants something in between. Um, the wall fight. Now, if Bavol is next, the question then becomes 68 or 75, which is a topic I, I really want to discuss, right? Because Bavol, he, Canelo's going to beat John, uh, John Ryder, okay? Stupid question. He's obviously going to beat John Ryder. I know people are down on Canelo. Canelo is still the undisputed 68-pound champ, okay? Canelo is a is a top five pound-for-pound pound guy. He's an all-time great fighter. I don't, we're not going to debate that. So... 68 or 75. I, I want to understand. Bavol smoked Canelo. Did, didn't eke out a bad decision, right? Did, didn't get a, a better than a doubt. Canelo smoked him. Beat him up bad. We can say whatever we want about Canelo. We had this, that, or our third. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, no, not doing that. My question is, why would Canelo pick the terms? Bavol beat him. Canelo wants the rematch with Bavol. Canelo could have had the rematch with Bavol, but he opted to fight Triple G instead in a tougher than expected fight. Right? So if I'm Bavol, I'd say, yes, we'll rematch. And we're rematching for my belt that you wanted to take from me that you couldn't because I beat you um, at 175. I'm not going to 68 to fight you. I'm not going to 70. I'm not going to 72. The fight is at 175. That's the fight you wanted to fight me at. You wanted to fight me. You wanted my belt at 175. You weren't good enough to get it. I'm not then going to go fight your game. If you want to fight me, it's at 175. And I, I don't understand why, like, Bavol would even negotiate. If Bavol wanted the first fight, the first fight, if Bavol really wanted that fight, he wanted to, to whatever, I'll, I'll concede whatever I need to do. I just want to fight Canelo. I'll fight him at 68. Okay, but they didn't. They agreed at 175, and Bavol won. So now Bavol has the chips on his, on his side, right? The chips are in his hands. He, the ball's in his court, not Canelo's. You know, Canelo's conceding something here. He can't beat Bavol at 75. That's what he's telling me. Once you start having those doubts, well, maybe the weight, this, that, blah, 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 you don't think you can beat him. If you don't think you can beat him, you can't beat him. Bavol's not a pushover. He beat Canelo. He's not a bum. Bavol's a really good fighter. And Canelo's obviously having doubts here. Which I think is why Eddie Hearn wants to take something in the interim. It wasn't in such a long layoff off the Triple G fight that he has to have some tune-up or this or that, right? There's something Canelo, if I were Canelo, honestly, I'd campaign at 68 and not fight Bavol again. If, if that's what you think, you don't think you can beat him, which you don't. Because if you were confident you could beat him, you just fight him at 175. You were confident you could beat him the first time at 175, so you took the fight. You wanted to fight cruiserweights. Then you then you get smoked by Bavol, not beat, beat up 
and smoke. And now, well, maybe I'll fight him again, but we want to come down. And we're late. And then, it's not in your court anymore, guy. I understand you're the biggest star. I understand. You want his belt. You want to rematch him. You want to set the record straight with the guy that beat you up. You play by his terms. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I, I don't understand it. And I, 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 I don't know if this fight's going to happen next. I'd like to see it again. I I I I think Canelo has I, I think Canelo's really good. I, I think Canelo is gonna make some adjustments. I'll probably go back, watch the fight a couple times and point out what I think Canelo could do and, and, and break that down. But Canelo could win that fight. He certainly could win that fight. And I know you guys think that's crazy, but it's not. You know, Canelo Canelo fought a bad fight. He has to change a lot of things. He can't get quote unquote uh quote uh, up against the ropes, he can't be walked backwards. He's got, he, he's got to take the fight to Bavol, which means he may have to walk through some fire to do that. Um, Bavol can hit; he's not a massive hitter, right? He's not a one punch knockout specialist, right? It's going to be a tough fight for Canelo, but I think he could potentially do it. Um, but right now, the mindset I'm getting from Canelo is that he doesn't think he can at 75, so he wants to try to do something to change it up, right? Um, you know, it's it's like if a team is smoking you, like okay, let's go play a zone now. Let's play a zone defense because this man up isn't working. Well, what what are you, what are you saying? You're saying, I, you know, I, I the way I'm playing isn't good enough, so I need to change something. What's Canelo changing? What he's saying is I can't win at 75. That's what he's saying. Um, well, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that and and do you think Canelo should fight someone in the interim? Room? Should he fight John Ryder? Is that a fight that's interesting to anyone? It's not really interesting. Because they're going to charge you 70, 50, 50 bucks, 70 bucks, whatever. They're going to charge you for that fight. Is that something you'd be – I mean, I, I understand it's Canelo. And Canelo will always have luster and he will always sell. But is it Canelo, John, Ryder fight? Yes, it's for the undisputed belt. Yes, Ryder would be the mandatory for the WBO. But is that something that y'all are interested in? Like, you know, like, oh, you, you know what? I got to see I got to see Canelo fight John Ryder. Again, it's not a horrible fight. Ryder's probably a top 10, 68-pounder. He beat he beat Zach Walker who quit for no reason. For no good reason. Didn't even try to, to go out there with the hand. Um but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um let me know what you guys think. Uh 3D boxing, 3D boxing blocks comes to you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Quick hits comes to you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Please follow 3D boxing, 3D boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Please subscribe to your other channel as well. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is January 5th, 2023. Happy New Year's first show of the new year. Uh please like, share, and subscribe. Uh from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.